Hello all, welcome to JC Electronics. So this is the video lecture series of embedded systems. In this video, we are going to see about I squared C. So this is a very important uh, topic in embedded system. So I squared C or I two C, we call it by either of the names. Okay. So it is actually a bus protocol, serial bus protocol. It is okay. So a lot of devices work based on uh, I squared C protocol because we know that generally in microcontrollers and all we use bus right for communication. And this uh, I squared C is a serial bus which are being used in a lot of uh, devices. Okay, so if you are seeing EC Electronics channel for the first time, please do subscribe to the channel and also follow us on our Instagram page and also subscribe to the Telegram channel for the notes. Okay, so let us see about I squared C. So I squared C, uh, consider that uh, you are uh, going to interconnect the devices like flash memory or touch screen. Or for measuring uh, temperatures, we use some ICs for measuring the pressures. So there are a lot of uh, elements that has to be interconnected. Okay, and for interconnecting these ICs, there are various IC for measuring the temperature, for measuring the pressure. All these ICs can be interconnected through a common synchronous serial bus, which is called I squared C. Okay, for connecting these all elements. We can use I squared C, which is a synchronous serial bus. Okay, synchronous because it is a it is having a clock signal, and also it is used for providing of serial communication or it helps in serial communications. So it is called that is it is a synchronous serial bus. Now the full form of I squared C is inter integrated circuit. Okay, so that is I squared C. I squared C means it is having two I's. That's why. It is called I squared inter integrated circuit. It is a bus protocol. Okay. Now, if somebody is asking you in an uh, interview what is an uh, I squared C, what is the full form, you should be saying that it is inter integrated circuit. So, it is a popular bus for these circuits and it is a C synchronous serial communication bus for networking. Okay. I squared C bus communication, it is actually using very simple connections and provides a common way or protocol for connecting of different or same type of IO devices using synchronous serial communication. And this I squared C is following actually a master slave type of communication. So while discussing the structure and all, we'll discuss how the master slave communication is actually happening. Okay. So this is how the circuit connection is present in a I squared C bus. So there are two lines in the bus. One is data that is SDA. That is actually indicating bi-directional data transfer. So the data transfer is actually happening between master and slave. There is master and slave. There is multiple masters possible and multiple slaves possible. Now talking about the master, even though there is multiple masters, at any particular instant, there will be only one master. Okay, And that master will be initiating the data transfer and providing the clock signal. Okay, So that is a very important point. Anyway, even if there is only one master, there can be multiple slaves possible. Okay, so there are two lines present in a uh, I squared C bus, which is data line, bidirectional data line, that is SDA, and the clock line or the clock signal. Okay, next. So we have already discussed this thing. The bus has two lines to carry signals. One line is for clock SCL, and this clock is actually provided by the master, and one is for bidirectional data. So the lines are named as SCL and SDA. And this is a standard protocol for I squared C bus. And there are also various uh, variations of I squared C. Uh, there are various data rates which is possible for I squared C, 100 kilobits per second, uh, then 400 kilobits per second. Likewise, there are various uh, standards based on the data rates. Okay, And it depends or it varies based on the applications for which we are using. Next. Master-slave concept, a very important uh, part of I squared C is a master-slave concept. Now, each device in an I squared C, that is whenever you are connecting a device or a uh, IC to an I squared C bus, it will be assigned with a 7-bit address. Now, this address is very important because only if, if a device or an element is having an address, only then the communication is possible, right? So, each device has a 7-bit address using which the data transfer is taking place. Okay, otherwise and the other uh, elements cannot communicate with that element, right? So only if the address is present, the communication will happen. So the address is very important. 
Now a master can address 127 other slaves at an instant. So we have already discussed that there is a master slave concept. Okay. And a master can address or can provide data and clock signal to 127 devices or other slaves. So it is indicating that totally we can have 128 devices connected to an I squared C base at an instance. Okay. So master can act as a processing element and it is functioning as a bus controller or a microcontroller with I squared C bus interface circuit. So when uh, this briefs that when a master is uh, initiating the data control, it will act as a bus master and it will act as a processing element. Okay, so the master will be the 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 uh, supreme or the uh, supreme power of that bus when it is initiating the data transfer. It will act as a bus controller. Okay. Next, each slave can also optionally have I squared C bus controller and processing element. So if a slave is, that is you can also have a bus controller for the slave, but the master will be always acting as a supreme entity. Okay. Now the number of masters can be connected to the bus, but however at an instant master is one, which initiates the data transfer and which transmits the clock, clock pulses. Okay. That is even though more than one masters is possible, at a particular instant, only one person will be acting as a uh, supreme mentor or the leader or the uh, total uh, best controller of uh, uh, at a particular instant. Okay. Even though more than one elements, there is more than one masters can be connected to the best at a particular instant, only one master is active. Okay. Just like a leader. Now for a master, a data frame has fields beginning from the start bit. Okay. We are going to next see the frame format of I squared C communication. Now, while seeing the frame format, you will get a very clear idea how the uh, data transfer is actually happening. So, this is the uh, frame format for a uh, I squared C base. First one is start bit. See here, this is the start bit. Then, second one is start address bit. See, 7T slave address. Now, consider that a master want to send a data to a particular slave so it has to address that data to that slave right so in that case the master should be knowing the address of that particular slave and that address is given in this field see here 7t address is the address of the slave for which the master is sending the data okay next one this field is read slash write indicating bit so, by looking into the bit, we can understand that whether the master is sending the data to the uh, slave or it is going to read from the slave. Either case is possible, right? Read and write both is possible. So, by looking into this field, you can understand that whether it is a read or a write. Next field is acknowledgement bit. It is actually for synchronization purpose between the master and the slave. Then, next, AT is actually the data bits. Then, NAK that is negative acknowledgement and stop it. Okay, so this is the frame format for a standard I squared C communication. Okay, next let us see the fields in detail. So the first field it is actually a single bit. It is a start bit which is similar to a UART. Okay, so this is a start bit. Then second is 7 bit address field. It defines the slave address which is being sent the data frame by the master. So if a master is want to uh, send, that is master want to send, send the data frame to a slave, means he will put that, the address of that particular slave in that field. Okay, it will be seven bit. In the beginning itself, we have discussed that every device in the I squared C best is having a seven bit address field. So that seven bit address, it will be putting there. Okay, third one, third field is a control bit. It is indicating whether the, uh, the operation is a read or a write. Next, fourth field is one control bit. It defines whether the present data is acknowledgement. Okay, so it is actually an acknowledgement field. Defines whether uh, is the present data is an acknowledgement. Like if it is an acknowledgement from the slave or if it is an acknowledgement from the master, that is a particular acknowledgement field. Then next 8 bits is the data, which whatever data the master want to send. 
it is been included in the eight eight bits okay next six bit is a negative acknowledgement from the receiver okay so it indicates that if if active if that field is active means acknowledgement after trans transfer is not needed else acknowledgement is accepted from the slip so negative acknowledgement means i'll explain that field in detail negative acknowledgement means consider that the master is sending a data to the slave and if the master is not expecting any acknowledgement from the slave that is master is not expecting that uh, the slave should say that i have received this uh, data frame or i have uh, received your uh, data if the master is not expecting an acknowledgement then the negative acknowledgement field will be one okay the value in that field will be one it will be active otherwise consider that the master is expecting a acknowledgement the master want to know that whether the slave has received the data frame or not and he wants to he wants the slave to send it through acknowledgement in that case this negative acknowledgement field will be zero means the master wants an acknowledgement whether the data frame is received or not okay so that is the meaning of this field okay last field last bit is it is again a one bit which is the stop bit okay just like that of a uart so these are the various fields in the i squared c frame format so while explaining the i squared c protocol in your examination or when you are explaining this in your interview you should be saying about this these fields which are very much important okay so uh, that's all about i squared c you should be drawing the structure there is this diagram you should be drawing explaining about sda and stl little bit introduction about uh, the i squared c and also the frame format frame format the most important part is actually the frame format okay so each and every field you should try to explain so that's all about i squared c please to subscribe to the channel for uh, future videos on embedded system and also for all important uh, subject videos on electronic subjects and for daily recruitment updates and also please follow us on our instagram page and also subscribe to the telegram channel okay so that's it thanks for watching and keep on watching